Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to use Agme to create input files for Gaussian and Orca, starting from very simple inputs, smiles in this case. For this, we are going to use an RD confirmation assembly and a format conversor. This workflow might become very useful when you want to carry out quick samples, for example, if you are a researcher, or when you are teaching and want to have a reproducible and transparent workflow to create inputs for QM programs. So, First thing we need to do, we're going to go to the ACME repository on GitHub. And then from here, we're going to get to the example workflows folder. And when we're here, we're going to go to the Caesar Shimming Coffer Generation folder. And finally, we're going to look for the Jupyter Notebooks and find the Caesar Arctic Organics Notebook. I'm going to open this in my computer using, uh, using Visual Studio Code. As you can see, it says in the title that it converts an open molecule starting from the smiles with C search that performs a conformational sampling with RTP. Then Kprep will create the Gaussian input files, or as well in this case. The step one is the C search conformational sampling to create STF files. The first part of this box is going to be the import part. Then we're going to set up some variables such as working directory, which in this case is the same as the, as the one containing the notebook. Then we're going to define the STF creation folder, which is where the, where the STF files are going to be generated. This case is the main directory plus a suffix is a subfolder using a name. In this case, it's set up as quinine, but we're going to basically draw a new molecule in ChemDraw, which is super fast, as you can see here, way faster than a 3D editor. And I'm going to do a, a cycloexen diode. Here, as you can see, it's super fast, including chirality. That is also a load in the sampling. It will preserve the chirality. You select the molecule, and then you need to go to Edit, Copy as Smiles. Or you can take the shortcut and use Alt Control C. Then when you have that, we're gonna replace this my variable, the new one, and then we're gonna change the name for cyclohexane dio. Okay. So now we go to the part where it calls the C search module, and you can see here how this is the main directory, the destination path for the SDF, program is gonna be articit, smiles and name. Okay. Pretty straightforward. We run it and you can see that this is pretty fast. It only took like three seconds. And then we go back to a folder. You can see that that can create some files. Starting from the dat file, this is basically the data of the program. This is what we just saw printed on the screen by collecting a dat file. Then we're going to open the CSV file. Here, there is some data such as the time that C search took, then the name of the molecule or molecules, multiplicity and charge, which ACME automatically detects it from the smiles string. Also, you can always write it with the charge and multiplicity options if you if you'd like to. This is the number of initial samples from Arikit. ACME, we benchmark ACME to look for rotational bonds and cycles and it detects the optimal number of initial samples. In this case, it was 300 for this molecule. You can overwrite it as well if you want. And then, starting from these 300 uh, conformers that the program detected initially, the program does some filters based on energy in this case. When the molecules are super close in energy, the program detects them as duplicates and discards the 200. Then the Ardekit Energy window, this is from the most stable conformer, 95 were discarded. And then the final unit conformer were 5. We go to interesting part, the folder. You can see that the program created an SDF with all the conformers inside. You open them, you see that in this case all the conformers look all right. And then Basically, what we're going to do is convert this STF file, the file conformers, into Gaussian input files using the model called QPREP. 
So we're going to define the COM path where the COM files are going to be created and the input STF files that came from CSRs, the one that just got generated. And that's defined. We're going to define them in the module, in the function that calls the class. You can see here our directory main, destination, this is the same as before. The files are going to be all the SCS, SDF files that CSR generated. We're going to use Gaussian as the program for the input files. And then the QM input file is going to be, as you can see there, as some memory and processors can be defined along with many more parameters. We run it, it only takes 0 0.6 seconds. And you can see here that the COM files folder were generated. And then all the COM files are over there. When you open them, you can see that they look all right. And when you get inside the file, you can see that this is basically ready to run. So you take these files, you can basically just run, run Gaussian on that. And you should have what you ask in the QM input file. Then we're going to do the same, but creating ORCA input files with the same protocol. So since ORCA inputs normally contain multiple input lines, you can see here how I define a variable that will contain, contain all these lines. This case called ORCA input. And I define them in the QM input option, and I also change the program to ORCA in the QPREP function. When I call it, again, this is super fast. We go back to a folder and you can see how the input files were generated for Orca. And when you open there, you can see all the input files generated, like they all were included, and also the molecular coordinate section with charge and multiplicity. Everything should be ready for submission, basically. And I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us or just start a, open an issue on GitHub.